Good morning, this is Sandra Hood, your 2021 VPAR president. And this month, for the month of July, I am sending my president's message via a video. So please be kind as you judge it, as this is the first. Um, and the reason for this is we wanted to make sure that um, we made some kind of a big deal as we announced that the VPAR nominating committee is now accepting applications from the VPAR membership for the 2022 officer and board of director positions. So starting Monday, July 12th, we will be accepting applications. And bear in mind that all of the applications must be submitted to the association no later than 4.30 p.m. Monday, August 9th. So I want to remind you that um, the officer position will be a one-year term of president-elect and then there are three positions for director and those are two-year terms. You can submit your own name if you like and we would definitely encourage you to get out of your comfort zone and do that. If someone asks you, which is really usually what happens, someone has seen something in you and taps you for a position, then please take them up on that. And sometimes maybe your goal is just to, let me just see what it's like to fill out an application and sit through an interview. I don't even care if I get the position because you can learn from that um, and um, you never know what may happen. So you do have to have um, some minimum qualifications and the email going out will give you um, all the details but um, candidates for director must have been a realtor for at least three years a member of VPAR for two years at least um, we are always looking for um, some you know uh, committee experience involvement acceptable committee involvement and if you want to apply for a director of officer position you must have been an officer or previously served on the board for at least one year so again, yay, we want to encourage you to jump into leadership. And even if um, filling out an application for the board is not your thing this year, then we definitely want you to be on the lookout for the committee applications and get on a committee um, and get involved at that level. So we want to see new faces and that might just be you. So to that end, you're gonna see um, a series of several videos from other past leaders at VPAR or current, and we've been asked to share with you what board experience has meant to us. So what I wanted to tell you real quick is a few, the, are a few of the reasons that I enjoy volunteering, and not just at VPAR, but in the community as well. I've been involved in community volunteering for many years, and it's always been rewarding because I'm going to learn a lot. That's the main thing. I'm gonna learn about the organization. I'm gonna learn about a service that I didn't know anything about. So learning, 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 networking. That was a sort of a surprise side benefit that I really didn't know um, the huge amount of benefit and savings, just connections that I was going to get from the networking. So networking, camaraderie and teamwork, that's probably numero uno for me, just working together with like-minded people, brilliant people, um, just very um, giving people to accomplish a task, a project, overcome an, an obstacle. That is so inspiring to me and extremely re has always been very rewarding. Skill building. So I have been asked to be to step up and volunteer in positions that I knew nothing about, that I felt I couldn't do it. So I've always tried to make it a thing where I'm not going to not do something out of fear. So skill building has definitely been um, reason for me to be involved and stay involved and I've learned things that I never thought that I could or would or even be interested in and through that the other benefit is gaining confidence so by doing these things stretching out of my comfort zone I have gained so much confidence it makes me feel stronger in my business as I'm working in real estate and just knowing that you know I probably can do these things I'm now I'm just going to have a little more faith and just jump into things and push myself out of the comfort zone because I know that I probably can learn to develop this skill so I hope that um, maybe helps motivate you a little bit. Um, those are my reasons for what, what's in it for me. And I'm sure everyone else has some really good stuff to share. Um, so I hope you'll be looking forward to their videos. So before I sign off, 
I just want to remind you guys of some activities that are coming up. <clears throat> we definitely are starting to get back into some in-person events and uh, would love to see you all um, at our next VPAR member social, which is going to be at Larry's Lemonade. That's on Water Street in Yorktown. So that's down on the beach. So come ready to just hang out at the beach afterwards, enjoy the outside, enjoy the camaraderie of the other members. So it's Tuesday, July 20th, mark your calendar, 5 to 7 p.m., Larry's Lemonade down on Yorktown Beach. Would also like to remind you of the VAR convention, encourage you to register. It's in Richmond, so it's really close by. So I hope to see you there. That's September 21st through the 24th. And um, finally, this year we are going to have Realtor Fest, so mark your calendar for that. The Realtor Fest trade show will be October 7th, so I hope to see you there as well. So if you have any questions at all, um, especially about the um, nomination and election information, please feel free to call me anytime, 598-1232, or Jim Wetzel or Joe Daly at the VPAR office, 599-5222. Look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great July. Bye-bye.